Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about a BoxyCharm. I broke down six months of having BoxyCharm and I did some numbers here to kind of determine if it was worth it or not for me. I paid for BoxyCharm from January through June of this year for six months and it is $25 a month that you get a little bit of a discount if you sign up for six months at once, which is what I did. I think it comes down to maybe about $23, but it's roughly about $150 for six months. I did mention in my last BoxyCharm unboxing that I have canceled. I just decided at least to take a break because it's kind of a lot of things going in. And even though it's only $25 a month, I do feel like I could be using that money to buy things that I more specifically want to purchase. So yeah, I broke down some categories here and yeah, let's just get into it. This video is going to be all about numbers. Alrighty, like I said, it's $25 a month. Six months was about $150. And the total value of the six months of boxes I got was $931. Also, I did get a sign up gift. You usually do. I got an eyeshadow palette and a brush set. And if I included that, it would be about $1,000. The average value per box was $155. I think that's really, really good, actually. Obviously, you're only paying $25 a month, so that is pretty good. And then I broke things down into items I decluttered, things I completely used up, items I totally loved and fell in love with, and then category of products that were only okay. Just to kind of see how I felt about the items. And decluttered, I've only decluttered two things. There was a mask, I really did not like it, and then the Hank and Henry eyeliner dried out so fast, I got rid of that after only using it a few times, which was unfortunate. Empties, things I completely used up, five items at a value of $94. That's actually pretty good. I used up a lip gloss, um, a makeup cleanser, a mascara, and a couple other things. So that's actually pretty good. I'm really glad that I'm finishing items that I got in BoxyCharm and definitely getting my money's worth out of them. And a lot of these things were things that kind of kept me from buying other things like the makeup melter and mascara. Those are things I would have to purchase anyway. Therefore, I did like getting those in the box. For the category of only okay, there were just six items that made it into that. For example, the Tarte Micellar Water, a Glam Glow Mask, some eye makeup brushes. You know, those were okay. They weren't amazing. They're definitely not bad. They're products I am still using. Um, but yeah, they're not absolutely amazing. And then for the category that I called items I absolutely loved, there were 17 items that fell into that category for a total value of $469. Some examples there, the Porefessional. I love this. I love pore filling primers. They're pretty much the only primers I use nowadays. I mean, a lot of them are pretty much the same, so it was nice to get one. I'm getting good use out of that. Uh, this eyeshadow palette, the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. This is now one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It is absolutely amazing. Therefore, this was very exciting to get. Um, also, oh, the Wander Beauty Blush. I love that. The Too Faced Highlighter, that was amazing. So a lot of different things on that list. 17 items on the absolutely love list. Therefore, actually, I think that that is pretty good. Right. So to recap that, two items decluttered, five totally used up, 17 love, and six items fine, only okay. I actually think that that is really good. I am surprised that 17 items are on the absolute love list. That's actually very fantastic. Now, the thing is, is I'm not picking these items specifically. If you join BoxyCharm, you do have a choice every month where they have two or three items and you can pick from those. Now, sometimes it's more of a general category. For example, when they had the Zoeva palettes, there, were an op there was about 10 to 15 different Zoeva palettes I think that people were getting. You could just opt in to get a Zoeva palette. You couldn't pick which one. I actually ended up getting one I really love, so that worked out, but I do think if they could even make the choice a bit more specific for things like that, I do think that would be better. They did the same thing for the Artist Couture highlighter. They didn't let you pick the exact shade of the highlighter. So 
I like the choice. I think it is great. And they have even included, um, I got a foundation in there and it, I got to pick the foundation shade myself, which obviously is a must, must have for foundation. You can't just get any random shade. Although I have heard that some people got shades that they didn't pick, which is really unfortunate because then you can't even use it. So, you know, that's a bummer. But I do think that the choice is pretty good. Although occasionally, I think it could be better, you know, for example, getting to pick out an exact palette um, or an exact shade of a product. Alrighty, overall, I would say actually having BoxyCharm for six months was a good value and I did discover some products that I really, really love and things that I use on an everyday basis. And also there are a few things that I didn't really have to go out and repurchase that I got to use the item that came in the box. For example, the micellar water, the makeup melter, you know, mascara. I do like that they give some essential type products as well. And I know that for, you know, everybody's skincare routine is different. So, you know, what is essential to my skincare routine may not be essential to everybody's, you know, so I realized that there's some kind of leeway there. And there were a couple of things, um, you know, that I didn't love. Like I said, there was one mask that was just terrible. I hated it, but I gotta say, I'm looking, breaking it down like this, I'm actually really, really impressed. Now, there are plenty of months though where I watch other people's videos and, you know, not everybody gets the th same thing. And I have seen some videos where people got products that, you know, if I had gotten, I would have been disappointed. So I feel like there's a lot of luck of the draw involved. In a way that is kind of fun though, because it's kind of a surprise. You don't know what you're gonna get. You know, so definitely pros and cons, but I would say my overall experience was a very, very positive. And I may sign up again in the future, but for now, again, it is five items a month, which can be kind of a lot to, you know, bring in every month because I do also still purchase other makeup. That's kind of another point that I have is I know a lot of people have said that having BoxyCharm keeps them from purchasing other makeup. For me, it didn't really do that because when I buy makeup, I come up with a very specific wish list. I know I want this palette, I want to try this concealer, and those are the things that I want to buy. And those things usually are not the things in BoxyCharm, even though the BoxyCharm things are good. You know, if you have a specific wish list like I do, it really does not keep me from shopping at all. Although it is a nice, fun surprise and Obviously, I've enjoyed most of the products that I got. Alrighty, that is it for this video. Like I said, I, it was a good six month experience for me to have BoxyCharm. Let us know what you think. Do you have BoxyCharm? Do you have other subscription services? Are you canceling them like I did? That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.